Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time but over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. All right, so let's go into um, our prioritization with our patients. And um, I know that a lot of nursing school test questions talk about this because uh, prioritizations and delegation is really big on the NCLEX and the national boards. So, um, prioritization is really not that difficult once you get it, and neither is delegation. So, uh, let's go over those real quick. But well, let's do prioritization first. So, I mean, I worked on the ambulance for a long time, and I know that everyone's like, ABCs, you know, always just do ABCs and, you know, that's priority. That's, you know, which patient's going to die first? Airway, breathing, circulation. Now, what if your test question, though, gives you a question in terms of, you know, three patients that are not even ABCs? Then what do you do? Right? So, um, I had to learn real quick that ABCs was not the whole, you know, uh, prioritization with every single client. Um, now, obviously, anyone who does have an airway, breathing, or circulation issue comes first in terms of uh, priority. But what if you have, you know, three patients that don't have those type of issues? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. So, in terms of Maslow's hierarchy of uh, needs, um, pretty much your airway, breathing, circulation comes first. Next is your change in level of consciousness. So if your patient becomes altered, this is directly correlated to a safety. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.